Bee Swarm Simulator is going to get updated soon. Now you might be thinking, oh yeah, no dub, Beesmas coming in a couple months, but I'm not talking about Beesmas. I'm talking about an update coming before Beesmas, possibly even this month. Yup, I know that sounds crazy, but in this video, I'm going to be explaining why I think there's going to be an update coming soon, and then what's going to be in it. Alright, so it's been a couple months since Bee Swarm has had anything really. I mean, we got a code update not that long ago, but it's just because there were some things bugging out in Bee Swarm Simulator. But very recently, and you guys probably saw this on it just added a brand new member to his studio this is basically the studio that helps develop beast form simulator it used to be on it and this other dude but then another guy got added now keep in mind that this is really early for on it to be active on anything we usually don't see information about on it being online until like late november early december you actually check the date right now it's only like halfway through october it's extremely extremely early for on it to even be online to work on stuff for beast form simulator and not only that but instead of just being online he added a new member to his studio showing that on it actually needs help working on the next update now when on it usually becomes active around late november early december he manages to make beesmas in about a month but now with the help of two other people in his studio it's very very possible that he can create some sort of small update before beesmas even comes out i mean back when beeswarm was just starting out the updates were never that big maybe they would just like add a couple of new bees or a small new mechanic but with the help of these two new people that could happen again very very soon Soon. The only question is what would be coming in the update? Well, there's a few things. For starters, there's a supreme stick bug amulet. I have no evidence for this, but I mean, it'd just be kind of nice if we had one because it only goes up to diamond and that's honestly really, really annoying. As for stuff we actually do have evidence for though, there's the coconut belt. And you guys have probably seen like a million videos on this thing already, but in simple, the model for the item is already completely created, meaning it honestly wouldn't be that hard for on it just to add the abilities and stick it in the game. I mean, it only took about a week for on to create the gummy baller, so it can't be that hard to create the bell. Now keep in mind the coconut bell isn't the only thing on it could add. There's also the other end game belts. He hasn't released models on those, but it is possible. Along with the end game backpacks, which he still hasn't released, the end game guards, brand new end game sprinklers, which are actually gonna have new passes if you didn't know. Like the normal Supreme Saturator just makes the flowers regrow, but the brand new ones are gonna have actual special abilities, like how the gummy mask grants gummy morph. Now I don't think those are gonna be released anytime within the next month. But but with the coconut belt, I do think it is possible, along with maybe some other small thing like a brand new bee, which I'm assuming would be another white bee, but hey, I can make a video on that later. And if update doesn't come out, that at least means Beesmas will hopefully be really, really nice, because now there's three developers working on Bee Swarm Simulator, but hopefully this Beesmas isn't as stressful as the Robo Bear challenge was last year. But hey, there's no way to know for sure if there's going to be an update, so I guess we just have to wait and see. And if there is any information posted, I'll definitely make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching your favorite white hive, and I'll see you guys in the next video.